What is up guys and welcome back to Valencia Cream Mode, episode number 29. Today we haven't really got the most important games. I mean, we've got Almeria and Espanyol in the league. So, you know, they're not really the best of teams. But we have got a very important game in the Champions League semi-final. It's the first leg against Benfica. And you could probably say that getting Benfica is probably the easiest team out of the four that's left. That Well, out of the three that's left what we could have got. Because in the other semi-final, it's Juventus-Arsenal. So, um, you could say I've dodged a bullet. But we'll see how we play against Benfica and see, you know, if they'll actually give us a good game. Because, I mean, so far in the Champions League, the only team that's really give us a good game is Atletico Madrid, and that was back in the group stages. So, you know, I've, for me, we haven't really had a good uh, opponent since then. But last episode, obviously, we had three very, very hard games in the league. Um, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, and Real Madrid. Um, we won against Barcelona and Atletico, but we lost against Real, and that actually ended up um, being our second loss to Real Madrid this season. We lost against them the first game of the season and um, they're obviously the second team to do the double over us now. So technically, um, we've only lost to two teams this season even though we've lost four games overall in the league um, because, you know, we've lost twice against Real Madrid and we've lost twice against Atletico Bilbao. So, you know... We've obviously just lost against two teams. But anyway, um, first game, like I said, was against Almeria. And I'm not kidding you, their goalkeeper was absolutely crap. He was absolutely awful. The first goal, I mean, you just, what is he doing? And then the second goal, it went down on Strigoris' goal. But if you watch the replay back quite closely... It was an own goal. I mean, he saved it, and then it kind of came off his hand again. And you can probably tell about the title. This this title was mainly based on him because he was just awful. It, it was so bad. And, you know, I've never come up against a goalkeeper that bad. What's his name? Joel or something. I think that's how you pronounce it, Julian. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the first goal, I, I don't know what he was doing, but, you know, I mean... He's just a funny goal in the end. But anyway, um, won that game 2-0. Good three points there. The thing is, we've already really um, guaranteed the league, basically, because we're just so you know many points above second place, which is at the moment Barcelona. Um, it was Real Sociedad for a long time, but they've dropped off a bit now. And it's actually sitting in fifth place. Even Villarreal have now took over them. So um, since like February, they've gone on a really, really bad run. And, um, you know, I, I don't really know what's happened to them. But, um, you know, it's their own fault, basically. But, yeah, like I said, we uh, got the three points against Almeria, which we won that match 2-0. And then we had the Banfica game. Now, this game actually didn't consist of any goals. It was just actually quite a good game to play. You know, it was end-to-end -end stuff, um, especially first half. First half, a lot of... Well, both of us had, you know, really good chances. I'm just an absolute city with the who. The thing is, I didn't expect it to come back to me off the crossbar. But in the end, it did. And, um, you know, obviously, to be fair as well, I was kind of making a few mistakes. You see that one there. They missed a bit of a sitter. Same with this one. They should have probably scored there. Um, I actually felt quite lucky second half to not be 1-0 down. And uh, I couldn't really take it to my advantage and get an away goal. And in the end, we draw 0-0. So... There's a bit of pressure on us, to be fair, in the second leg now, because Benfica, um, they could come away, and if they get a goal, that means I'm going to have to score two. Because if I don't, you know, if I don't get one, obviously, then they go through with one nil advantage. If I get one, then they'll go through with an away goal. So, you know, the pressure is on me a bit now, and you know, we hopefully next game we, you know, we can do it. But you know, anyway, we'll go into the second leg. See if we can uh, obviously get to the final because that's one of our objectives as well. Get into the final. Um, we obviously now uh, won the league, like I said. Basically, um, we're in the final of the Super. Well, sorry, the Spanish Cup, and uh, now we're actually in the nearly in the final Champions League. So you know, we're doing this well this season. You know, last season um, we finished second and won the cup, and we weren't actually in any any European competitions like the Europa League or the Champions League. Because obviously in real life, Valencia have not done very well recently in the past few years um, but you know this season our first season back in the Champions League we've done very well and we obviously won the league this season and you know hopefully we can win the uh, Spanish Cup again um, like we did last season but anyway um, game against Espanyol went into half time with a 1-0 lead and I've got to say this goal for Royce it, it's I don't know how it went in I just, it, you know 
normally when I'm at this um, length away from the goal, I do normally do that where the player like lays the ball off because I just think you have a better advantage and um, actually a better chance of scoring like that than actually doing a direct free kick. And in the end, it worked. I mean, it looked like he was going to trip over his feet, but in the end, Marco Royce had a good game this um, this game against Espanyol. Like I said, got a good uh, goal there. A length goal of the season, surprisingly. I didn't actually know he got that many. He's kind of up there with Lukaku, to be fair. But, um, you know, I've been slating Royce a bit this season. He hasn't really been on the best of form. But to say he's got 11 goals in the league, he's not. I don't think he's doing that bad. But anyway, in the 90th minute, give away a stupid pen. Um, I bring down their player with Marquinhos and the old Atletico Madrid player, Leo Baptista. He sends Diego Alves the wrong way. Um, gets a goal back for them. But, you know, it was too little too late by then. We'd already won the game. And uh, there's actually only two episodes left after this one. So, you know... Hopefully, hopefully we can just get to a few finals because, you know, obviously, you know, I'll explain it more next episode. But, you know, the main thing is we get the win here, get the three points and hopefully we can, you know, get into the final of the Champions League. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please like and subscribe if you are new. And guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.